Asher, where are we going? Uh, we're going to get a haircut. Go yes, Asher needs a haircut, and I promised Britt I would take him. So Asher and I are going on a man date to get a haircut at the barber. Totally going to do a scavenger hunt with this stormtrooper this week. Asher, let's see your haircut. Whoa, dude. We are back from the haircut. Come on, bud. I want to show everybody your cool, fancy, hipster haircut. What is it? I didn't know it's here. Yes, look at the camera. Hello, everybody. Look at my new haircut. Whoa, that's pretty fancy. Major dad points for taking Asher to get a haircut at the barber shop. And had a super fun time. <sighs> I love spending time with this guy. What? Just waiting for Britt to get home and then I'm heading downtown, which I've not been to the downtown office in a couple weeks, so it's gonna be good to get down there. Heading downtown now. It's weird. I haven't uh, been working downtown from the office in a while, but. I mean, I don't know. It's been nice <clears throat> working from home. So I'm feeling a little bit better. Not 100%, but I'm happy it's Monday. I'm ready to conquer this week. Yeah. Hope everyone had an awesome weekend. I can't wait to ship out all those uh, sloth stickers that people won. Thank you, everybody. Um, Today's gonna be awesome. So So I t I ate a sandwich like a couple hours ago and I totally did not sit well with my stomach so what up MLK represent uh, I'm hoping traffic's not that bad because I uh haven't gotten to see much of Eden today so I'm hoping I can uh catch my little girl before she goes to bed got to hurry home Gotta hurry right home. There will never be a point in your time in your life where it's the right time to do a great thing. If you're waiting for that perfect, perfect moment, that perfect timing, it's not going to happen. 
you know what you have to do you have to create the perfect time and the perfect opportunity and the perfect situation that a lot of people become comfortable they stop growing they stop wanting anything they, they become satisfied people getting ready to go to jobs that they don't like jobs that are making them sick you see when you're not pursuing your goal you are literally committing spiritual suicide when you have some goal out here that you're stretching for and reaching for that takes you out of your comfort zone you'll find out some talents and abilities you have that you didn't know you have when the messenger of misery visits you what are you going to do what will keep you in the game today today is the only important day there are 86,400 seconds in a day and how you use those are critical you got 86,400 today and what you do today is going to see me who you are nobody's going to talk about what you did last week if you're not where you are if you're not where you want to be if you don't have what you want you want to have if you're not where you think you should be at this particular place it has nothing to do with the system but it has everything to do with the fact that you're not making the sacrifice i want you to make that dream become a reality because if you don't you will be working for somebody else to make their dreams become a reality. Thought it'd be cool to throw a little uh, inspiration your way, motivation, um, since it's MLK Day. I just love that stuff that like lights a fire in me to uh, follow my passion and my dreams and all that stuff. So hopefully that motivated you a little bit. I just got home, ready to see the kiddos. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Hi sweetie. Can we kiss? <laughs> yeah, did you got me a present? Yeah, I got you a giant hug. Say hello. Hello. Your haircut still looks good. All right, so I totally forgot to sign off yesterday. So sorry. I got home and I just like wasn't feeling good and I was going to. I laid in bed. I literally fell asleep in my bed on top of the covers and I was out I was out cold so I'm back feeling stronger today and uh, yes I hope everyone had an awesome day yesterday with that being said follow your bliss peace out